Hello coders, welcome back to Tutorant. So guys, if you know about 3JS, it is very nice. But if you don't know, then the 3JS is an amazing library to render 3D objects on your website. I have already made a video on 3JS. You can watch that if you want a short introduction about 3JS. So guys, these are the websites and projects which are made with the help of 3JS. And you can see here, these types of projects are built with the help of 3JS. But guys, if you want to use 3JS and if you want to render 3D objects like this in the React, then how can you do that? So for that, we can use a library called React 3 Fiber. So guys, this is the official documentation of React 3 Fiber, and you can see here it is written. React 3 Fiber is a React renderer for 3JS. That means you can render 3JS or 3JS objects components on the react websites with the help of react 3 fiber and guys using react 3 fiber is comparatively easy than the 3js vanilla 3js in the website so you can share with only this code you can render 3d objects like this and guys if you want to do same thing in the 3js then you have to write a lot more code than this so that's why 3js in react or react 3 fiber is very efficient and easy to use so as you can see this is the official react 3 fiber npm package that helps us to use react 3 fiber in our react application so guys now let's see how we can use this in our react application and for that i'm going to create a new project you can use this in your existing projects if you want but for now i'm going to create a new project on the code sandbox and i'm going to name it react 3js after that we can see this is our app right now so for now let's remove it from here and we can write code us now we have to install this package in this application so for that you can use this command npm i react 3 fiber for now i'm just going to copy this project name here and i'm going to add these two dependencies after that you can see this is installed in my application so now you can import and use react 3 fiber components and guys if you know little bit about 3js then in 3js we have to render the scene onto a canvas in the react 3 fiber there is a component that is called canvas which can help us to render 3js scene so for that we are going to import from react react 3 fiber so you can see this dependency error because react 3 fiber is using 3js or this 3 library to render 3js objects so we have to install this also according to the official documentation so you can see here this is how we can install all of these but for now let's install these three by writing and now it should go away so now you can see this is functioning properly right now now we can use this canvas inside our application so here i'm going to write canvas and we have to close this also and now we can use 3js components or objects inside this and for that we have to create a mesh first and for that we can write mesh when we can close it and guys in the 3js for creating a mesh we have to create some geometries inside that and after that we can style those geometries with the help of materials so for now let's create a simple geometry with the help of box geometry and inside the box geometry we can pass the height width and depth of the box you can already see the box there so now we can give it some sizing so for that we have to give arguments and this argument is going to take an array here which is going to be the value for its height width and its depth so you can already see a box there but it is very small right now because according to the window size it is showing the box so for now let's change this value here and let's set it to 4 and after that you can set a material on this and for that we can use mesh basic material and we can pass the colors here for now let's just uh, set it to green we can pass also the hex value and rgb so now you can see there is a basic box geometry with the green color on the canvas so that's how you can create a mesh simple mesh but you can customize it however you want but as you can't differentiate that it is 3d or 2d object because currently we are not doing anything 
so that you can differentiate that it is 3d or 2d for that either we can rotate this in 3d way or you can use something called use frame inside react 3 fiber to continuously rotate this while rendering the scene so in 3js you must have seen that we create a render loop which is going to render our scene every on every frame chain and it is similar in the react 3 fiber with the help of use frame so i'm going to import the use frame from this and now we can use this function to animate this object and for that we have to access this object but this object is currently rendering on the dom directly so we cannot control with the help of react so for that we have to access this with the help of a reference so for that i'm going to create a reference to access this object so now we are going to create ref one is equal to use ref and make sure that use ref is imported from the react and we can pass this to this mesh ref is going to be ref1 and now we can access this object with the help of this ref1 so now we can just call this function so i'm going to call this function here so i'm going to write use frame and this function takes and callback functions for that i'm going to write an error function here and this error function is going to rotate the object by changing its rotation value or by changing its position you can change any properties to make it animate and it is going to animate or render that on each frame change so now we can access with the help of ref1 and we can access with the help of this current value now we can change the value of its rotation x and we are going to increment it 0.1 on each frame render so now you can see there is an error that says that we can only access this hook use frame inside a canvas object or canvas component that means we can wrap this object inside a separate component and we can use this function inside that after that we are going to import that component inside this canvas so now let's create a separate component either we can create this component in a separate file or just in the same file for now let's just create a separate file here and i'm going to name it box.jsx so this is our box file right now and inside this i'm going to create a component and we're going to just export it default and we're going to write function box and just return this mesh from here move it from here and now we have to import everything here so just import use ref from react now it must work as we expected so now we can import this inside app.js import box so now you can see this box is imported now we can use this inside the canvas and now we can just move this use frame function from here to box and we can import this function from react 3 fiber and now you can see this is how our application looks right now and you can also see the animation right there so now we can also change the z value and y value here to make it look more authentic so we are going to increase this value with 0.01 so make it slower and now we can also change the value of this box y axis by just duplicating it and changing this to y and now you can see this is how it looks and now we can also change the z value here so this is how it looks right now but to make it look more clear we can just change this box geometry to box buffer geometry and and change this material to mesh normal material now you can see different colors on each side so now you can say this is a 3d object and guys also this component is now reusable you can use this component as many time as you want and this is the benefit of using react js for rendering 3d objects you don't have to create a separate object for that you can just reuse it so for example you can just duplicate it here and now you can see there are two objects but they are colliding with each other and you can change the position of each of these objects or boxes by passing some props inside this so we're going to pass position 
and I'm going to pass the array here which is going to take the x y and z position so currently I'm going to pass 0 0 and 1 for first box and this is going to be wrapped inside the curly braces and now we can use this positions value to position this inside the box so I'm going to get the props here and now we can just destructure the props here by writing these three dots and props now whatever props we pass inside this box it is going to be applied to these objects so let's try to change it to three and now let's change this box to position to zero 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 so let's change the x position also to one and this to two now you can see one of these on the top and one of these on the bottom but they are still colliding because we have set the size to four and this is very big so you can set it to two and now you can see the difference here we can also change the x position of this second box to make it side by side now you can see this is how it looks so guys that's how you can create an object inside the react 3 fiber and reuse them and customize them by passing the props so i think that's enough for this video but for this video if you like the information then you can also share this with your friends so guys thanks again for watching this video stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial